du melang abusheni molweni sanbonani tobela a us self taught programmer in south africa or maybe you are thinking of diving into this field but you are not sure if you have what it takes this video is precisely for you i mean the reason for my uh, engagement in this video is because i have interacted with a lot of people lately and about a week ago i was talking to some some guys who were asking me about how to transition from their fields into uh, the it industry in particular uh, being software engineers or what we call programmers in south africa and um, this guy was in teaching and he wanted to transition into it and so he was asking a lot of questions and it's not only him these other guys that were also asking me the, uh, the same question and uh, these um, uh, two guys two ladies and two guys and one lady rather who i've um, uh, helped in terms of or supported in terms of uh, them transitioning from the uh, uh, traditional uh, background into uh, being uh, developers or programmers and uh, these are the things that um, i'm going to share with you regarding what they were experiencing and what their uh, common problems were maybe this can encourage and help you as a uh, self-taught uh, programmer and you know sometimes it can feel like you're climbing a a mountain you know being blindfolded especially in south africa where opportunities may seem to be out of reach so i've been in this industry for over a decade now and then i'm going for my second decade now so uh but uh, basically i'm quite experienced in this field and i also went through the traditional way of computer science and also acquiring some postgrad degrees in computer science so um but however i've had the opportunity to interact with people from different fields and also uh, had the opportunity to, to interact with people who don't have degrees at all but uh, trust me they were awesome and they were spectacular in terms of delivery at work so now we need to first speak about the reality in south africa of self-taught programmers of course so first uh, in south africa the, many companies still value formal education and it feels like you you know your self-taught skills are not enough so plus there's a limited membership m mentorship rather and resources locally compared uh, to the global markets or international uh, markets so basically uh, we it's very difficult to find somebody who be your mentor to find somebody who uh, support you and show you the the right structure because you you need to have a particular structure in order for you to be able to to succeed in terms of uh, being self taught uh, a self taught a self taught a programmer skills now to be honest they matter more than degrees in many cases especially in the in this field and being self taught shows in it initiative and passion however you need to stand out this is what i always say to the guys that you need to stand out no one is going to buy the story of saying that you are passionate you need to you need to do some certain things in order for you to stand out and for your passion to to be you know displayed out there so what are the things that you need to do in order for you to succeed um you know basically how do you stand out so number one i'll say focusing on building projects you need to start with small projects practical projects um, do things that are real don't just do something that is unreal do something that is real and um, you know showcase your skills through a github you must have a github profile it's free and you can have a public profile that you can use and can be accessed from uh, by anyone and then also you need to have a portfolio website you can start off there build a portfolio website for yourself and then uh, put it out there and let it stand out and um, if you have those and you put those on your cv then your github profile will speak in volume this will make you stand out unlike just uh, saying that i'm a self-taught programmer it will be very difficult for you to compete in this uh, field so and the second thing you need to do is to master the fundamentals of computer science that being uh, data structures algorithms and problem solving all these things are, uni are universal so they are not local to south africa but they are universal so if you master data structures algorithms and then problem solving uh, skills those are universal and 
uh, fortunate enough, this course or this channel rather, it has those courses. It has it focuses on uh, data structures and algorithms for now, uh, though that is going to expand if I get enough uh, time. So uh, you can just uh, subscribe and then have a look at the data structures and algorithms for free. And we also go through the, uh, you know, lead code and, um, you know, other platforms that actually have uh, real sort of world exercises that you face when you're doing interviews with the big companies like AWS, Amazon, I mean, AWS, which is under Amazon and then Google, uh, etc. So those uh, big uh, tech companies, we are going to, we are going through that as well in this course. And then now the other thing that we need to know is that, you know, the best thing about uh, South Africa uh, is that it's, it's just a click away from the world. So you just have to click and then you'll be connected with the whole world. What do I mean by that? Um, remote work is huge now in every, globally. This is a global thing. It's not just across uh, South Africa, South Africa only, but it's just an international thing. So international companies are hungry for talent from emerging markets like South Africa. Um, you know, whereby, um, you know, there's a focus on consistent learning and building a solid portfolio. So you can compete globally. So plus the South African tech ecosystem is growing and the startups, fintechs, and even government backed initiatives are looking for talent. There is just uh, an opportunity for everyone uh, to come into the party and you just need to stand out. So to all self-taught uh, programmers out there, keep pushing, you know, your journey might not look traditional, but that's what, that's what makes it powerful. So you need to follow a particular structure. You need to be, uh, to have somebody to mentor you. So one thing I've experienced about the guys I've helped to uh, transition is that, you know, if you dedicate at least two hours of your time every day to this uh, course or to this initiative that you have taken, then you, will not, you won't have experience difficulties. The problem is when you start for two weeks, uh, this is what I've seen with the guys that I've, uh, you know, I've been working with. So two weeks, three weeks, they are fully focused. But on the fourth week, then they sort of, uh, sort of start, start to uh, disappear and then come back after two weeks. If you do that, you are resetting. You will always start over from where, you know, from scratch, because now you need to do this thing on a daily basis. It's like a math mathematics. If you don't practice mathematics, you will not get it right. No matter who is teaching you, even if it's a professor, you will not get it right if you do not practice. So practice, practice, uh, practice. And then you need to structure. You can't just, um, you know, come in here and then uh, do one thing and here and there, and then you change. The following day, you do a different thing. You need some sort of a structure. You need to follow a particular course. And in this one, at least you are, we are fortunate enough to find that we are offering this for free in terms of data structures and algorithms. Uh, if you're already there, uh, then uh, at least you can just follow this one because they are structurally uh, organized and they are following a particular uh, pattern that is followed throughout uh, by the different guys who are doing this, uh, you know, textbooks and, and computer science stuff. So plus I've, um, I've, I've I'm I'm quite deep and experienced in this, in this field. So uh, I've followed the right structure. So you can just follow through, uh, so that you can be able to learn what is going on. And then again, you know, if you found this video to be helpful, just give it a thumbs up and then share your your journey in the comments. Uh, even if you're not a self-taught uh, programmer, if you are in the journey, or if you want to transition, then you can just uh, share in the comment section and subscribe for more tips. Let's build a supportive tech community in South Africa. And until next time, happy coding.